Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of the Adventure Bus. In today's video, we're going to be prepping this bus for spray foam insulation. So if you remember me hauling the seats in from the last episode, you can see here I have some square iron and what I'm doing is cutting it into sections that will be welded onto the bottom of those seats and then I will bolt those sections to the floor. So that's my plan to get those seats prepped and ready for install. So in order to comply with local laws and convert this bus into an RV, we have to remove the crossing signal lights from the top header of the bus. These guys were rusted in pretty good, but with a little effort, they came out. And with a little bit of body work, we'll cover up all these holes and it'll look just like new. I decided while I was up here, I might as well update the cab marker lights to the LED type. A little bit of drilling and I was able to match up the new ones. I added a rubber grommet to make sure that the wires don't get frayed by the fresh metal hole that I just drilled. So I applied lots of waterproof silicone to the base of these units, screwed them down, went inside, hooked them up, tested them out, and presto, we had some working lights. So the last project of the day today was to get started on finishing up the wheel well cover boxes. So I made some frames out of some 2x3s and then I got some tongue and groove pine which I'm measuring here. And now for a little bit of time with the miter saw, I'll get all my pieces cut. And then bring them over to the frame and make sure they fit. This is where I sign off for the day today and back at it again tomorrow. All right, so today we're gonna cut a hole in the ceiling because I've got this awesome fan here that's hopefully gonna help with some of the heat inside. And well, it's ceiling mount, so here we go. We're gonna cut a hole in the bus ceiling today. So, trying to plan out the roof deck and the solar panels. I think we want it inside 11 feet from the back, so we're going to measure that out. And that should work out perfect as it puts us between two of the ribs. So that's awesome. All right, let's uh, get this thing traced on here. Okay, so this is a cover. Should be able to use it to somewhat trace it in here. Finding center can be a little difficult. So now we are going to try and center it. Okay, so I measured from both sides and I got 40 from this black line here to this corner 
and 40 from that black line to this corner. Not going to overthink it too much. Time to trace it. Okay, so this is where we ended up, which is perfect. Exactly where we want it to be. We have a bathroom wall right there, so this will be the set up in the shower and also in the bedroom. Beauty! Alright, it's super dark out now, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow and we want to finish this up, so here we go. Now that the hole's been cut, I grabbed an angle grinder with a flap disc and made sure that all of the edges were nice and smooth because I do want to keep my fingers. Now that we're all sanded down, it's time for the test fit. And... Perfect! So the next step, using the hood as a template, I drilled out all of the pilot holes for the screws around the entire edge of the hood fan. Next, I made sure that the area was completely clean of metal shavings and grease in preparation to apply the butyl tape. And time for the final step, fastening it to the ceiling with some metal screws. A completed hatch, project complete. So this is the 50 amp inlet box that will reside on the outside of the bus. This will allow us to use shore power at an RV park so that we can supplement and charge our system. I'm using a step drill bit to drill out a large enough hole to accept the wire. And then I'm going to take this over to the wall, use it as a template, and drill the exact same size hole through the wall. And of course, who doesn't love some more butyl tape to seal everything up? So the next big hole we have to cut in this bus is for the water supply. And as I always say, measure twice and cut once. Following my template, I drilled in four pilot holes to guide the jigsaw and make sure that I had a perfect square.
course, you know what this stuff is. Some more butyl tape for that watertight seal. And that wraps up this episode of The Adventure Bus. If you like this video, make sure you head down below and hit that like button. And if you want to follow our progress and see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. Until next time, take it easy out there.